All right, so today we're headed to Luciano. His house is probably one of the farthest uh, walks, but it is a nice walk. I did bring my drone, hopefully uh, it doesn't rain. It was raining, we're starting later today because it has been raining all morning and it's in the later afternoon now. So usually when it stops raining, the sun comes out and it's really hot. The sun is really intense right now, but uh, it is nice that it cleared up a little bit so we can come out and take the walk. But hopefully Luciano's home, we can't contact him. Uh, so hopefully he is there. Uh, maybe some other people, hopefully his guitar is there as well. Maybe he can play a couple songs. Hey guys, so we're walking towards uh, Luciano's house and this is just kind of the little neighborhood that we're walking through and uh, So we just met this lovely lady and I haven't really even introduced myself yet. Uh, what's the name of Pangalan? What's the name of Pangalan? Luciana. Oh. Luciana? Yes. Ah, Luciana? Luciano? Oh, that yeah. was <laughs> That's a very beautiful name. Luciano. Luciana. Luciana. So, how young are you? Plana are you young? Eighty. Years eighty. Old. You look very good for eighty. Good for you. What's your secret? Unsa daw imo hang sekreto nga bata ra gihapon tanawon. Ang lang gihapon ba ako nuna ba? Just be happy. Just be happy. Just think that you're young. Just think that you're young. Yeah. Probably just positive thoughts and mm. good. That's the Filipino traits. So, um, how long have you been living in this area for? Since ano miss where it's been a long time because they they own this property. Okay. So since birth I think All right. yeah. Um do you have family? Do you have a partner? Asa man nimo bana gay na? Oh, pass away. Pass away. Ten mm. mantao. Um, and we did talk to her. Um, her daughter did pass away as well. I didn't know about her uh, partner, but I did know that her daughter passed away. Um, how many grandchildren do you have? Pila ka book up ni mo na? Four. 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 Mm. And she only have one. Only one, one daughter. daughter. Okay. Usa daga pang usa paminyo. Nya kanin tulo nga ninyo na sila pero na usa. <clears throat> so she has four grandkids. So, uh, three of them they have their own family now, and one is living with them still. One is living with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the grandchildren are a little bit older. Yeah. Okay. Older now. All right. But she is supporting the one. Um, she's working and she's like um also breadwinner of the family. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, today we're just kind of walking through and kind of giving a blessing to some people that are well deserved for and I mean, I'm I'm you you you. Yeah. this is for you Dama. hey you're very welcome <laughs> <Dama tao. laughs> all right guys so these long walks are worth it it's like I'm hiking some of these views are amazing it's very peaceful out here all right guys so we just arrived at the next house very nice surroundings here. Alright. Uh, what's the new Pangalan? What's the name Pangalan? Emeline. Emeline. What's your name, sir? Bicinte. 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 And this is Nana Ilaria. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you? Ah. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> How do you know banana sogging was my favorite? <laughs> Delicious. I love sogging. <laughs> I love it, yeah. I think she saw us, isn't it? She saw us, she got that. Come on, right away. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, I had a nice little snack along the way. <laughs> so how many families live here? How many families live here? 
Come in, Edwin. 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 Ah, three of them. Three, three different mm. families. Um, just her, their son. Na ako na mumbalay na gasbat. Challenge na hurut. Nagubat sa ni pag pagyuno. Okay. Binla na maging ko hindi ano? Na tama mo magira o? Sura. Some of their house was. Yeah, devastated. Yeah. Typhoon. And no house was safe. It seemed like during the bagyo. It's look at it. It's still in decent shape. At least yeah. it's still standing. Yeah. Now it was one. Saas thing. Bina na mi gumagida ang sa mo. ba? She said, uh, because of typhoon, there's like an um little bit uh place for them to to sleep, like just in up a little, so they don't really. Have a place to cuddle together with her husband. <laughs> <laughs> she wants some privacy. <laughs> <laughs> but she's just kidding. <laughs> so living out here, because we are pretty far from like um, maybe the town. What kind of things do you guys do out here to like earn money? Unsa daw karon na unsa daw pagkakita niyo ng tatay? Wala yun. No. Um, they don't have job no right now. Um, their son is providing them. Okay. Mm. All right. So, uh, these two live here, and then her and her daughter live somewhere else. So there's two different families here, and then uh, their son lives here as well. So two different families. So I'll bless them both. <laughs> This is for you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, this is for you too. So, <laughs> and this is for you. You're very, very welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for the sagging. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> this is, I'll eat this probably right away. I was craving something. I was just getting hungry. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> So I remember coming here before, during like the wetter season, you could easily drink water out of here. It's still coming, but just not as strong. It's a good idea to just leave a bucket there, then you always do have water when you come. I'm starting to have a shoe problem. <laughs> Look at my shoe. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. They said they're, uh, as you see, their payag is a little bigger now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll take a walk around first. Um, the first time we met them, uh, it was right after the typhoon, the Baguio, and their house was completely destroyed. They actually first lived down there, and we'll tell you more about the story later. They actually rolled down the hill inside their house, but we'll talk about that later. But in, when we came back after the Baguio, we, uh, they were in the process of kind of rebuilding, and we gave them some extra funds so they can help along with that. And it was a lot smaller than this, so it's good to see that it is bigger now. Let's just do a quick little walk. And um, one other thing which we might talk about in a minute with them. When the Baguio did happen, they actually ran to, it's not really a cave, but it's like a mountain cliff area, which is right through here. You can see there's like some cliffs here, but they found some shelter back there. And um, that's like the only shelter they had really after rolling down the hill inside their house. Um, Cause that storm lasted like, you know, <laughs> I think it was like, eight hours or ten hours. I don't know if it was like all through the night. 
So anyway, we'll have a little chat with them, but I'm glad that their house is looking, you know, bigger than before. Last time it was just like one little room. All right, so we're on our way to Luciano, and this is actually his father and his brother. And then his brother-in-law, or uh, Luciano's son-in-law, yeah. is here as well. Hi. So it's kind of nice uh, having like a family area here. So how have you been since the last time we saw you? Um, so they said since we left you gave them enough money to buy food so they uh, it sustained them for a long sustained them for a long time yeah and mm -hmm. i remember i saw them kind of pointing to their chest last time they were pretty hurt from rolling down the hill. Like if you haven't seen those other videos, I'll try to post those in the description or something. But they just had a crazy story. Like like many of these families here, they had really crazy stories about the typhoon. They were actually in their house when the typhoon came and um, they waited as long as possible to stay in their home and then eventually just rolled down the hill with them in it. And they had some injuries. And then when it happened, I think the father was looking for the son, and the son was looking for the father, but um, eventually they found him and then they helped carry him to the cliff over there to have a little bit of protection. So it was just a wild, wild night. And then, um, yeah, and then eventually we helped them with the house. But, uh, so, out here, um, what kind of different things do you do to earn money? Farming. Farming, mm. okay. Yeah, so most of their foods they just um they planted or they they do farming so mm -hmm. and most of it's consumption or did they consumption. sell some of it or consumption. mostly just for mm. food? Then you know, saging pot. Oh. Yeah, sell and consumption. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw them sometimes delivering with their motorbike. They deliver. So now they they can sell after the typhoon. Typhoon, they said, yeah, because their bananas are gone. So, I see a lot of bananas will come up. Even the walk here. Um, they're all starting to sprout again. That's one good thing about good thing about bananas. When it first happened, the Baguio, I mean, it whacked out all the banana stalks because they're not very strong. They pretty much just fall down. And uh, but the good thing is that they do regrow pretty quickly. So you looking around? I mean, there's a whole bunch of bananas behind us on the way here. There's many. So at least they have that. And it sounds like you have some chickens. Do they lay eggs to oh, eat? So, oh. They have lots of chicken, but someone <laughs> stole Someone stole the itlogs? Yeah, no, only the itlog left. They got them. How many chickens did they steal? Pila kabo. Fourteen. Fourteen. They um slowly when they deliver. <laughs> Veggies yeah, like yeah, yeah. sagging, so when they're gone, they're gone. And they come back. Mm. Mm. That's too bad. So someone like knows their schedule. But so that's usually your enemies are the ones that are your friends. So that's too bad that probably someone around here is this chicken stealer. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, but it's usually <laughs> people steal chicken. <laughs> you, you just notice that you say and then you call your chickens and they will not come back. Unless you will, you know, you have a chicken coop. Yeah. Well, man, that's too bad. Well, anyway, uh, we're kind of just walking around. And we did want to check on that. I'm glad that, you know, their the house is bigger. Their living space is a little bit bigger. Because last time, you know, they were building their way up. And right after the typhoon, they were both living in one little area. So at least now they get to have a little bit more space. But um, it's good to hear from you both. And I'm sorry about the chickens. Maybe... Uh, <laughs> This can help with, uh, here's one for you. Mm. You can use it any way you want. Thank you. Hey, you're very, very welcome. <laughs> Here's for you, my friend. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> and it's good to see you guys in good spirits. They're, uh, 
Always smile when <laughs> that's good to see. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we'll let them go. Uh, this is a little update. And um. Jadi surat tu kau anak gua, minyak kau itu wajib macam mungkin penuh dan atau kayak cuma juga satu nak surat. Back di para back di tanah aku kerung marso. Hola, nak kerja pengkawat man, marso itu. So um, if it wasn't. If it wasn't because of you, they cannot survive after the typhoon because they are their things or their you know their farms gone, their rice and everything gone, including their house. So because of that, they um, they survived the typhoon and now they are. And it really isn't uh, easy. I mean out here to earn money like even to buy materials like even like the plywood and a lot of the stuff um you know it's not cheap and if you're one of the things that they earn money and not even a lot of money was like the bananas or the sogging and when that's all wiped out i mean there's really no other way for some people to earn money i mean it is just really hard when something like that happens it's really hard to get back on your feet so um yeah, it's glad to see that they're doing, you know, okay, they're doing better. They have at least shelter, and, um, yeah. So, in a way, a quick little update, so, it's good to see you both. Good to see you. <laughs> so, I guess we'll carry on into the next one. Hopefully, Luciano's home. Well, is Luciano home? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, good seeing you, okay? Mm. <laughs> Fist bump. Come up, man. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right so we're just walking to the area where they ran to for shelter their house is right over here and all the uh banana stalks are growing back so that's good to see and some coconuts too i'm not sure if those were here before last time we walked through here but they ran right up here i believe and this is during like you know the very raining the most intense part of the storm trying to run through here with uh you know all these rocks and these aren't just normal rocks these are like and i'm pretty sure they, they were probably barefoot running around i mean this stuff is sharp and hard and they came through here pitch darkness you know i mean imagine being at night where you can't see and coming in here and they said they ran right up here up there so they did have a little bit of protection um there's another video with um maria and some other uh i think rebecca and i think there's a and a few kids so it's like women and kids ran to something like this but they had less protection it was like a straight wall up so this this at least this one you're a little bit more protected but right now in the daytime it may look easy getting here but at nighttime during a typhoon I mean, it's not just a little storm. That, it was very, very intense. Like you could like lean into it and the wind would keep you up. So thank God they're okay. All right, guys, so I am officially lost. Richie says she knows where she's going, but I am turned around. I have no idea where we are right now. I don't have an idea. You don't have an idea either? No, but we can try every path we see. Yeah, there's many different ways to go. So we're going to try this way. A right turn. A wrong turn or a right turn? <laughs> Those are the options. But it is nice out here. It's actually a little bit cooler once you get uh, kind of away from the sun. You have a little bit of shade here. And the bugs aren't really too bad. And I think that's Luciano's right there. So I think we did make it. We made the right choice. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I do too. At least it's still coming. So it's nice to have this right in your backyard. Even though it does come a little bit slower, it is constant. And right now it's like the peak of the dry season. And it's still wet here. That's a cool tree. It's like angry tree. Yeah. Alright guys, so we just arrived at Luciano. Hey bro. <laughs> So their house is uh, a little bit different from last time. Last time we were able to get them some materials. So it looks like they completed all the walls. Hey Luciano! Como <laughs> esta, bro? Good to see ya. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is this new? Or yeah, relatively new? Oh, yeah. All right. Kitchen. Cool, yeah. So this is the last time we were here, this was not here. Kitchen. They did a good job. Alright guys, so we made it to Ludi and Luciana's house. Um, so uh, we've known him for a while, known the family for a while. Uh, we helped them with their house, uh, with the CR behind us, and with TV and fans and uh, many other different things. A karaoke machine and the guitar. So uh, we've been lucky to know him and to be able to help him out with a few different things. So um, since we've been gone, a few things did change. <laughs> Uh, one of their siblings moved to Mindanao. There used to be, I think, three families back here. And then another one is living behind us, behind the Payag. And then they built this before, a little bit, uh, not too long ago, to cook and some other things. So, uh, any other update? How is life going? How are you? It's okay? It's okay. Fighting. Fighting, yeah. And um, Luciano, um, if you don't know the whole story, he got actually electrocuted um, at one of his jobs, I think more than 20 years ago. And uh, since then, he wasn't able to use his legs any longer. So, um, and the guitar, that's kind of a big thing. Um, so that's, what he, that's what he does sometimes to pass the time, is uh, play the guitar. And he's a wonderful guitarist. So I think uh, to kind of end the video, uh, we'll do a little blessing for them. And uh, the, his son-in-law is around, so I have two I'll give out. But this one is for your son-in-law. Okay, there's two families here. I think it's here. Okay. Hey bro, cool stuff. <laughs> I have a little gift for you and your partner. This is for you too. Hey, you're very, very welcome. And then I have one more for you. For you guys. This is for you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And if you haven't seen the other videos with Luciano playing the guitar, he is amazing. So I think we'll just end the video with him playing the guitar. So whenever he wants to start, he knows many songs. Who's your favorite guitarist? Your favorite singer? Sa gitay paborito ni mga guitarista. Atong kantang Willie Garte ang kinabuhi. Ah, Willie Garte. Willie Garte. That's the mm, name I remember. Yeah. Okay, I remember him saying one name before. Mm. All right. Sampol ni daw maybe. At bangan da tong dito. We're going to battle with the camera. <laughs>